Hey guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA in his fishing shirt in his 16 foot travel trailer. And believe it or not, it's nice and warm in here today because the outside temperature is close to 50 degrees, which is like springtime. And I know y'all are going to be focused on my new bulletin board, but try not to let it mesmerize you. That is a stainless steel bulletin board and it holds stuff on with magnets. I did a video about it yesterday. Yeah, it cost me 20 bucks from Amazon. It's got all the imported, important stuff on there that I want to know about, like battery levels. I can look at this and say, oh, 12.7 is 100%. Oh, 12.1 is 50%. What kind of phone do I have? I have a Verizon LG Style 02, because <laughs> I forget. And, what, and then I've got all my senior pass information. Whenever you go to a state park or a national park, you got the little pay envelopes. I got all the stuff there for the pay envelope. So, what can I say, guys? The bulletin board. Huh. No brag, just fact. Luxury, luxury, luxury. Everywhere in my 16-foot travel trailer. Everywhere I look, it's just, oh, I don't know. It reminds me of the Playboy Mansion in a lot of ways. <clears throat> anyway, this is, oh, uh, hey, Google. Good morning. Hi, Rusty. It is 6.40 a.m. Right now in Burnett, it's 52 and cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy, with a forecasted high of 67 and a low of 56. Have a great day. Thank you, sir, Google. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Quartzsite, Arizona? In Quartzsite right now, it's 48. About the same. About the same. Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature in International Falls, Minnesota? The current temperature in International Falls is 26. See, that's that, everything's warming up. I mean, what's the t hey Google? What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is eight degrees. You guys get some cold weather up there, man. But anyway, what else is going on in the world? I guess we'll do some comments here. I got several of them. This is from Tronna Tronna Rat Tronra Tronra Tronara Tron Tronara Tron Rat. This is on the popcorn. It says popcorn at the movies and kettle corn at the fair. Absolutely. And this is John Ryan. He says, hi, Rusty. Hi, John Ryan. How in the world are you doing? Man, I haven't heard from you in 70 years. Anyway, this is Nick Gonzalez. Hello, Nick Gonzalez. This is driving into Taos, and I was talking about an old church that I thought was really old because it looks really old, and apparently they rebuilt it. Uh, anyway, Nick Gonzalez says, the original Our Lady of Guadalupe Church burned down. They didn't tell me that. The sign just talks about it. <clears throat> the church here in the video was built in the 1950s, I believe. Well, Nick, go tell your people to take that sign down. It talks about how old it was. <clears throat> uh, Dave Edelman, RVing, etc. Here we go. It says, Rusty, I have watched your channel enough to translate your word substitution. Well, thank you, because it happens. I can't believe it. Oh, I say some real stuff. Dear or scary, glad it turned out okay on both ends. I am too. I really didn't want to kill the deer, and I could have completely avoided it if that car hadn't been right on my bumper. That is a fact, because I was watching that deer. I am very aware of the deer. But anyway, can't wait to see you on your next journey. I can't either, but it's going to have to be. See, this morning when I got up, I didn't have any heat on it. And inside the RV, it was, you know, 55, 58 degrees. See, that's tolerable. And that's the way it'll be when I'm camping. Because, you know, I'm not going to be running any heat. <clears throat> but, you know, if you get out there and get caught in those temperatures that drop down into the 30s, uh, that can be a little airish. And I don't like to do the burners because it gets the moisture on the inside. Of the, but anyway, where were we? Uh, it says, uh, can't wait. Oh, like many others, I am traveling vicariously via your channel. Thanks for the shot of the post office. It's been a while. Yeah, I know everybody wants to see the Kingsland, Texas post office. I, I, I kind of got something started there. Now I have to go there all the time and show people the Kingsland, Texas post office. I will continue to see, oh, excuse me, I will continue to use your link on Amazon keep on keeping on I smile every time I turn my computer on and see your notices well that's good I'm glad to hear it and thank you very much for using the Amazon link uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about I am an Amazon affiliate 
and I leave a link to Amazon products in every video description okay description and if you use the link go to Amazon and buy anything I get a small commission and it does not cost you anything not one dime the product will be the same price whether you use the link or you don't so if it's not too in inconvenient use it anyway thanks uh, thank you Dave Edelman this is Russell Gay on bulletin board see this this <laughs> pretty nice huh? it's much better than that thing I had made or I made Russell Gay just wanted to check with you on Magnolia Beach Texas I wrote you about a month ago that my wife and I were here in Fredericksburg Texas from San Diego California to enjoy the Christmas season but liked it so much we're still here <gasps> ha we are leaving here for Magnolia Beach where you can park right on the beach for 14 days for free. I heard you say you were thinking of going somewhere soon on a trip and I have heard nothing but good things about Magnolia Beach. Thought you might enjoy. P.S. made a good sized order Wow, on Amazon and finally remembered to use your link. Love the videos, Russ and Esther. Thank you, Russ and Esther, for using the link. That's number one. But I used to live in Victoria, Texas, so I have been to Magnolia Beach many times. And the only thing I don't like about Texas beaches, and of course I'm sure it's true of most others, Texas particularly, uh, I'm not sure about Magnolia anymore, but you know, for a while there they had tar balls that would wash up on the beach, and then they had the, uh, <clears throat> it's old salty, sticky air, and it gets on your windshield, and anyway, I, I just don't like salty, sticky air all over my vehicle you know I don't like salty stuff all but anyway if you enjoy it if you enjoy the beach go and do it this is Rondlin 100 thank you for the heads up too Rondlin 100 come on Rusty let's go camping yeah come on guys oh, come on Rusty jump off that damn mountain it ain't gonna hurt you <laughs> come on Rusty I dare you I dare you to jump off the roof of that 20-story building come on yeah, come on, Rusty. Let's go camping. Take us to New Mexico. Get antsy. Sent you a note through the mail today. Probably won't get it till Monday, but I want to hear mail call fall in all two of you. <laughs> oh hell, I didn't get. I, ch I checked it yesterday. Nothing. The moth was. The moth looked pretty good. He, he's kind of. He's got a little room set up in there now. I think he's got him a little business going. Uh, Rondon 100 on the bulletin board says nice, clean, and tidy. Yep, that is what it is. I love it. Yeah, and use that. If you put up anything in an RV, one good way to do it without using screws is use that double-sided Gorilla Tape. Yep, works. Scotty Thompson, boy, he came out and forced one, two, three, four, five in a row. Okay, Scotty, but it's on, it's on five different videos, okay? I mean, they just come up all together on mine. <clears throat> Scotty Thompson, cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Scotty Thompson, I don't like Facebook that much it is okay people are rude on there a lot Rusty well I don't do anything on Facebook and never have Scotty Thompson cool Jayco J flight Swift 6 travel trailer Rusty well thank you Scotty Thompson cool, cool RVing car camping and truck talk and driving your truck Rusty thank you Scotty Thompson Scotty Thompson cool bulletin board for RV home apartment talk Rusty thank you Scotty He's a, he, Scotty is a bowler. For those of you who don't know, Scotty goes bowling every now and then. Dreaming Angels Reborn. Very neat. That's on my bulletin board. Francis Abatangelo. Refreshing. 100% agree on the preamble. I, I lost a lot of subscribers over that. You hear me? I, I posted that about the new preamble, and I, I bet I lost 100 subscribers. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's weird, man. I mean, it, never mind. Starting over with, starting over Vicky, that's the name. Bulletin board, cute magnetic board, just the right size for holding business and appointment cards. Where do you come up with these ideas? Well, actually, necessity is the mother of invention. The bulletin board I had was held on by some little tacks. And what would happen is, this is really hard stuff on the side here. And the little tacks would move out and the damn thing would fall down. So after it fell down one day and I thought, what? Well, Bing, I got an idea. Let's get a bulletin board that's a good one that'll stay up. Hallelujah, Rusty. Welcome to the world, boy. But you know what? For me to spend a penny, man, I just, it just, 
you know, when I walk, I hear this squeaking noise, you know what I mean? And uh, I always think it's somebody else. I know who it is. It's old, the old man in the fishing shirt. But anyway, guys, that's all of them today. Uh, well, that because I stayed caught up yesterday. That's all the ones that I, I'm gonna. I could read some more, but oh, here's one right here. I'll read Daryl State Staten Staten. Two of them I'll read. It says, Rusty, are you going to change your tires before you leave? I read a lot about blowouts and have had a few on my on the toy hauler I sold recently. I just purchased the EZTPMS for my fifth wheel. They look okay, but they will blow out and do some damage. Good luck. Uh, well, no, I don't plan to replace anything. If it, if it ain't broke, I ain't fixing it. This is Mike Ellis. It's, he's talking about the. He said that could have been a vir viral video, is if you had filmed the deer hit, and, and it probably would. Yeah, you got to kill something to get uh, a lot of views. <laughs> You know what I mean? Or yourself. You know, if you kill yourself, oh, hell, you you get a load. Uh, what else, guys? Uh, yeah, let me check here. Hey, hey, uh, Google. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Alamogordo, New Mexico? The current temperature in Alamogordo is 48. See, because the area I'll start off in will be the area around Alamogordo, and it won't be in Alamogordo, but I'll go to... Uh, they got a little state park there called, I want to say, Oliver Lee, something like that. And then there's the Three Rivers Petroglyph site. There's Valley of the Fires. Uh, of course, you got a Gear Springs. So you got several places right around Alamogordo. But uh, Gear Springs is up in the elevations, and it's going to be a little bit cool right now. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Ira and Texas? In Ira right now, it's 49. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, and, and you know, again, I'm not probably, probably not going to stay in RV parks. I'm probably going to be doing some boondocking. Well, not really boondocking so much as I'm just going to be doing some dry camping, and I'll try to find improved sites. You know, like BLMs that have water and electric, or national parks where you know they, they may just have water and electric, and other places like that <clears throat> are just nothing. You know, if, if there's a state park that has tent camping, I thought about getting the New Mexico State Park Pass uh, because if you, you just pay it you pay $225 a year it's a, a one time time fee for and it lasts for 12 months <clears throat> and then you don't have to pay for dry camping if you pull into the state park and you put you, know, you go to an area where there's no hookups there's no fee of any kind so you've basically paid $225 for several months of camping in, in all of the New Mexico State Parks the only downside to that is what you'll find is not not so much in uh, like March, April, May so much, but when, when school lets out and the travelers come out, uh, you'll go to the parks and you won't be able to find a place even to put a tent. So that therein lies the catch-22 there. And even right now, the, the most of the sites for the summer are, are, that are reservable are already reserved. You know, because you can stay in their state parks for two weeks at a time. And what happens is a lot of people have kind of snapped on that system. And what they do is they make reservations at four or five different parks for two weeks at a time. And then they just make that little loop uh, for the entire summer. And then when it starts to get cold, then they move over to the Quartzsite area and then make a few places in there, Lake Havasu and Quartzsite and different places. And then and they just kind of go back and forth. And, you know, that's pretty smart, actually. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, hey, Google, tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. A woman once said she recognized me from the vegetarian club, but I'd never met her before. I don't know about that one, guys. <laughs> I'm sure it, now you guys may have got that, but it's right over my old ignorant head. Hey, Google. Tell us a joke. One joke coming up. What's the best part about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. It is a big plus. Okay, but anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, on a Friday morning, a nice Friday morning, you guys that are working class or in the working, in, in, are working, enjoy your weekend coming up, and uh, I will too. But anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything your little heart desires. But if it's not too inconvenient, use the link to Amazon products 
in the description of my videos. It doesn't cost you a dime, but I know it's probably a little inconvenient, but that's the way that is. So what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will also help you lose weight if that's what you want to do. What else? Take deep breaths. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and that's extremely good for your health. Okay? And if you don't believe me on these things, check them out. You know, do a Google search and see what you think. But then stretch. You know, just stretch your arms. Stretch them up. Just push them up there, man. And then slowly bring them down. Do that several times a day. You know, I do that. I do my stretches twice a day, every day. Doesn't mean anything. It's just what I do, okay? But, you know, I feel okay. I mean, I've got every skin rash known to man, but... But but it, but actually, all that is, all those skin things are just old timer's disease, and there's not a thing you can do about it because your skin gets thinner as you get older, as most of you people know over the age of 60 or so, that if you bump your arm on something, it'll look like you got a tattoo because you bleed under your skin. Yeah, I even had a kid at the grocery store one time, I had a t-shirt on, and he said, hey man, where'd you get that neat tattoo? <laughs> Little booger. <laughs> Anyway, having said that, guys, from Central Texas, USA, and all of this luxury, adios amigos, enjoy your life one day at a time. Bye-bye.